Hello students, in today's video, we are going to talk about the vacant seats notification that has been released by Nalsar Hyderabad on 21st June 2023. This notification contains the information about two vacant seats. One is in All India General category, the other is in SC category. Right? Let's have a look at the notification. Since the process of tracking vacancies is somewhat lengthy and time consuming process, we have streamlined this and the entire information about all the vacancies in all national university is available in our, in our single page which you can find through the Google. The website is lawprep.in. You can search for lawprep.in space vacancies in Google. You will be taken to this page. Now, after getting to this page, you can click here on the notification part of Nalsar Hyderabad. You will be taken to this notification. So in this notification, Nalsar has mentioned two vacancies. One is All India SC category. Remember All India SC category. That means a candidate from any other state can also apply and All India general category. One, one vacancy. <coughs> The fee payable in this regard for this application process is zero, so you don't need to pay any fee in order to claim any of these two vacancies. Coming to who all can apply to this particular vacant seats, for all India general category, if your rank is below 200, then you can apply for the one vacant seat of all India general category. Apart from this, both SC and ST category students can also apply in this particular notification. Now, you would ask, sir, the notification says there is only one vacant seat for SC category. Then how come ST category students can also apply for this particular notification? So if you look at the notification, in the notification it is mentioned that since this is the last round of counselling and after this round there won't be there would not be any other round. The vacant seat of SC, if, if it is not filled, then that particular vacancy will be converted to All India ST category. Even after that, if the seats remain you know, vacant and is not filled, then it will be converted to All India General category. So the one All India General category which is mentioned in the notification, it is there, but apart from that, the All India SC category is a vacancy that is subject to change into any other category if it is not filled. So all the three categories, the general, All India general, All India SC and All India ST category, all three categories of students can enroll or can uh, you know claim the seat for this particular vacancies. And uh, for all India category, as I have mentioned, your rank should be below 200. That is up to 200. Then you can apply for this particular vacancy. Now, what are important days, dates in this regard? The last date for application is 26th June 2023, night by morning 10 o'clock. Right? You have to complete this application before 10 o'clock of 26th June 2023. The merit list will be drawn based on this and it will be published before 3 p.m. on 26th June 2023 which is on the same day the application closes and based on that merit list the student have to attend the counselling process, the admission counselling process in the campus physically on June 30, 2023. Right? And the payment in this regard should be, the payment, the fee payment should be done before June 28, 2023. And you have to make the payment. If you look at the other part of the notification, it says that candidate will be required to pay the full fee of 2,97,000 and 2,91,000 in case of SCST category to Nalsar as the amount paid at CLAT office or other universities will not be transferred as the CLAT 2023 counselling process is closed. So you have to make a payment no matter if you have made another at any other you know office or administration department of any other NNU, you have to make this payment in order to claim a seat. Once your name appears in the merit list that will be released by 3 o'clock on 26th of June. 
right now let's let's have a look at the let's have a look at the no, uh, the admission the application filling process so once you click on this particular notification which is available on the law prep website then you will be taken to this particular notification where you can find a mention of a link now this is the admission uh, or the claim process so you have to fill this particular google document right now what are the information which is asked in this in this in this particular google document remember all three categories the all india general all india sc and uh, as well as all india st can also apply in case all india sc is not filled through this particular call then it will be converted into all india st and then maybe your application will be considered you have to first start with entering your email address followed by your name complete name your clad admit card number your clad admit card pdf copy your all india rank your clad score precisely and the category to which you belong it's not the seat you are claiming the category you belong for example the seat right now is the vacant seat right now is only for sc all india sc category but you will click on all india st if you are from st category because you are claiming that seat in case the all india sc seats get converted to all india st seat right after that if you are from sc st category you have to upload your caste certificate then you have to mention your gender your contact details your 10th class mark sheet your 10th uh, 10th class percentage if it's in gpa system you can mention in gpa system then your 12th class mark sheet and the marks obtained in class 2 right at the end you have to make an acknowledgement then that, that if you get sorted or selected in the merit list that is going to be released on 26th of june you will definitely make the payment and avail the seat right after you agree on i i agree button you can submit the application and it will get successfully submitted to the concerned administration department of nalsa after which if your rank is suitable according to the two vacancies a merit list will be drawn and if your name appears in that merit list by uh, by 28 you have to make the payment and by 30 you have to physically attend the admission counseling at nalsa campus uh uh that's all for today's video i think this video you know helps you in understanding the process if there is any query you can ask that in the comment section our team will be always available to help you i wish you all the best thank you